six minutes to six pack abs. Thomas DeLauer with sixpackabs.com and here I am to teach you a quick and easy six minute routine that's gonna revolutionize the way that you train your abs. See, when it comes down to it, it's more about timing and consistency than it is about heavy weights and brute force. So the movements that I'm gonna show you are simple movements that you can do at home with simply a mat or you can do them in the gym. I'm also gonna show you a few variations to make them a little bit more advanced if you're looking for that extra burn in your rectus abdominis and that extra burn through your obliques as well. So let's get to it. I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you need to do. I'm gonna do one minute of each movement. And for the daring, you can even try to go through a second time around and do 12 minutes. Let's get rocking. All right, so the first movement that we're gonna do is a lying figure eight. All you're simply gonna do is lie on your back and you're gonna extend the legs as straight as you can. And you're simply going to create a figure eight motion with your legs. Now it's extremely critical that you keep the lower back as flush to the ground as possible so that you're not arching the lower back and engaging the spinal erectors. That's gonna put a lot of stress on your lower back and the exercise is not gonna feel comfortable. What you can do as a simple little trick is to actually squeeze the glutes. Believe it or not, by squeezing the glutes, you engage the lower part of your abs and you also engage the transverse abdominis, which is going to allow you to target the rectus abdominis and get the six pack abs that you want. You can go as fast or as slow as you need to with these, but word to the wise, the slower you go, the tougher it is. All right guys, so this next one we're gonna do is windshield wipers. I'm gonna show you a few different variations. This first variation here is with your knees bent. The reason we're doing with the knees bent is this is a beginner variation. You see, your legs are acting as a lever arm when you swing from side to side. So the longer the lever arm, the harder the focus on the fulcrum, in this case being your abs and your obliques. So I want you to really concentrate on feeling the lower abs and the outside of your torso, meaning the obliques, the internal and external obliques. Again, go as slow as you need to or go as fast as you need to. Just don't swing the motion and torque your lower back. If you straighten the legs, it increases the intensity. Now I'm going to add a barbell for an advanced variation. If you hold a barbell, it's going to lock your scapula in place and it's gonna lock your lower back into the ground, therefore making it so the isolation on the abs is significantly higher. This next one is a lying toe touch crossover. This is one of my personal enemies. This one is so brutal, especially if you sit at a desk all day and your lower back might be a little bit tight. So one thing that you wanna do, when you're reaching that right arm over to the left leg and the left arm over to the right leg, you wanna focus on giving a little exhale. What that exhale is going to do is it's gonna contract the abs at the right point in time. You see, a lot of us have a tendency to take all the brunt of the force into the spine when we do these kinds of movements. Whereas if you can do a little bit less range of motion and a little bit slower and contract the abs and breathe properly, you can get a lot more of a concentration on the abs, which is gonna give you the separation in between those individual valleys of the rectus abdominis. Ultimately, what gives you that aesthetic six pack look. All right, dead bugs. These ones are interesting to say the least. So what we're doing with dead bugs is we're really taxing our proprioception. What that means is the connection from your brain to your abs. Believe it or not, the abs actually look a certain way simply because the brain signal tells them to contract at a certain time. So by extending one leg while extending the opposing arm overhead, we're actually building neural connectivity between the brain and the abs, allowing them to contract properly. One of the biggest problems that people face with abs isn't the fact that they're weak, it's the fact that they're not signaling them to contract at the right point in time. So you notice how I'm slowly moving the motion, going right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. And then as I get towards the end of the movement, I'm speeding up the movement and becoming a little bit more fluid. Once you've done this a while, you can find that you might move seamlessly from arm to arm and leg to leg. Next is alternating cross body curls. 
You're going to assume a position like you're holding a medicine ball and doing a torso twist, except your feet are flat on the ground. And all you're simply doing is doing a basic crunch with a slight curl over to the side. So the outside of your right hand should ultimately hit the outside of your left leg and vice versa. When you come back down and then come back up, your left arm should slightly touch the outside of your right leg. So you're basically doing a crunch and then pivoting at the last minute to get that rotation. You can do this with body weight, but if you want a little bit of an additional torque on the abs, simply hold a medicine ball. In this case, I'm holding a 12 pound medicine ball that's adding a good amount of force and a good amount of torque to the abs that's allowing those internal and external obliques to kick in to get me that nice V taper and get me that nice Adonis belt that I want to look good on the beach this summer. And last but not least, let's roll into hollow body rock. You can do this two ways. You can do it in a stagnant position where you're just assuming the hollow position and holding it. Or the more advanced variation is when you actually start rocking. Now again, if you have a tight lower back, maybe you sit at a desk all day, you might find it's a little bit harder to rock. So start with a small little shuffle, a small little rock, and slowly progress when your abs get stronger to more of an overarching arc that's allowing you to get more of a rock. Now this is an isometric hold. And we all know isometric holds are good for building stamina and muscular endurance. So you might find that you're weak on this one to start. And if you have to go 15 seconds at a time, 30 seconds at a time, that's fine. Take a half second to breathe and you'll find just that half second to one second rest allows you to assume the position again and complete it effectively. So now we get rolling and if you want the advanced variation, you can go through this one more time. But as for me, I'm good to go. So as always, make sure you comment if you have any ideas for videos, comment if you like this video, and make sure you keep it locked in here on sixpackabs.com. I'm Thomas DeLauer signing off, and I will see you in the next video.